Hi, this is Mrs. Hasmer, and today we are doing some homework help. This is for Eureka Math, Module 1, Lesson 7. Okay, so for each of the following problems, define the constant proportionality to answer the follow-up question. So number one, it says bananas are 59 cents per pound. A, what is the constant of proportionality, or K? Okay, so what is staying the same? You can set this up by putting um, your y over x equals to proportionality. Okay, so for here, y would be 59 cents, x would be 1, and then k would be the unit price. 59 cents for one pound. Okay. All right. Number 1B, it says, how much will 25 pounds of bananas cost? Hint, they told you one pound equals 59 cents. Hint number two, multiply 25, the number of pounds, times 59 cents. Okay, and that'll give you your answer. Now, if you're doing this, just so you see, they ask you for a table. One pound of bananas costs 59 cents. So it's the pounds, okay? So if you're writing it for the formula, so K equals Y over X, be 59 cents equals 59 cents over one, right? Because anything over the number one would be that number. All right, so now we know how much it is for each pound. So if it's two pounds, I am multiplying by two, and I'll get my total of a dollar eighteen. Again, you can put it in here. Fifty-nine cents equals one dollar and eighteen cents over two. Three pounds of bananas would be fifty-nine cents times three, and give you a doubt. It would cost you a dollar seventy-seven. Again, so they're showing the proportion. Every pound is the same. They're not saying. Uh, after five pounds, Jewel might tell you it's 29 cents, okay? But that's not what they're saying. So no matter what, I know if I have the amount of pounds that I'm gonna multiply it by 59 cents. That's all that's saying, this formula, okay? I think it confused some of you. Number two, the dry cleaning fee for three pairs of pants is $18. What is the constant of proportionality? Hint, how much for one pair of pants, okay? I put pants, one pant. <laughs> so 18 over three, right? Because you know that it's $18. That's your Y, here's your X, for three pairs of pants, okay? To get them dry clean. So remember, so what number goes into both these numbers? Divide it. So we know it's three, right? Three goes into 18 how many times? Six, okay? And three goes into three one time. So K is six, it's six dollars, right? So K equals six over one, okay? So here's how you would write it. Six equals six over one. So for one pair of pants, see it at the bottom, on the top, the numerator would be six, six dollars. Okay, let's try two pairs of pants. So, what keeps being repeated? The six dollars each unit. It's like the unit price, right? So, if it's six dollars, if you have two pairs of pants to be clean, it's twelve dollars. And then you write it this way, and it will equal. Okay, so six equals twelve over two, because we know if we divide both of these by two that this will reduce to six over one, which equals six. Okay, so three pairs of pants, they gave us that, right? So three pairs of pants times six dollars is 18. If they asked you how much um, it would cost for five pairs of pants, you would multiply six dollars times five, which equals 30, okay? All right, two B, how much will the dry clean cleaner charge for 11 pairs of pants. So we learned that K equals six. That's the constant of proportionality. So six times 11 
don't forget the dollar sign will give you how much it will cost for the dry cleaners okay number three for every five dollars that Micah saves her parents gives her uh, gives him ten dollars lucky kid a what is the constant proportionality so you know that for every five that's your X your Y is ten that the parents give him ten dollars can I reduce this yes what could it reduce to two right so because five goes into ten two times five goes into five one time so it'd be two over one which equals two so K is two which is the constant of portionality okay so I made a chart just so you see it just the same thing if Micah saves hundred fifty dollars how much money will his parents give him Micah saves one dollar the parents give Micah two Micah saves two dollars Parents give Micah two times two dollars, which would equal four, four dollars. I didn't put the number signs. Micah saves five dollars. Parents give Micah two dollars times five dollars, which equals ten. Micah saves a hundred dollars. Parents give Micah two dollars times one hundred dollars, which equals two hundred. So remember, K equals Y over X. So if two dollars equals 200 over 100 for the last example so two dollars equals question mark uh, 150 at the bottom because that's what Micah saved so what can I do multiply these two numbers together and that will give you what the parents gave Micah okay number four each school year, the seventh graders who study life science participate in a special field trip to the city zoo. In 2010, the school paid $1,260 for 84 students to enter the zoo. And always make a chart if, it, if you need to, and that's what I do, okay? So 2011, the school paid $1,050 for 70 students to enter the zoo. In 2012, the school paid $1,395 for 93 students to enter the zoo, okay? So, this is your Y, this is your X, this is your K, if they're all the same numbers here, okay? So let's see. So if you divide 84 into 1260, it comes out to $15 per person. If you divide 70 into 100, I'm sorry, 100, 1050 it's going to be how much $15 per person if you divide 93 into 1395 dollars you can come up with that's still $15 per person so um, they ask you I think if it's proportionate uh, proportional and you would say yes and they say why or why not yes it is because every student pays $15 to get into the zoo and C identify the constant of proportionality explain what it means in the context of the situation so K is 15 right this represents the price per student so that's your answer K is $15 and that this represents the price per student and for D, it said, what would the school pay if 120 students entered the zoo? So if it's $15 per student, you're gonna multiply 120 times $15. E, the last one, how many students would enter the zoo if the school paid $1,425? So you know that it's $15 per student, you could divide, remember 1425, or 1425 would be your Y, and your $15 per kid would be your X. Okay? Thank you.